Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about bear box aquariums, the pros and cons to owning one, and so it kind of helps the people who are deciding whether or not to have a bear box aquarium as their first tank or maybe their next setup if they have already existing tanks. So, hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned. We'll get on with it. All right, let's first talk about what is a bear bomb aquarium. A bear bomb aquarium is exactly how it sounds. It's an aquarium that basically is bear. There's nothing in it usually. There may be a few decorations that are just sitting on top of the glass, but other than that, there really isn't anything substrate-wise that's inside the aquarium. Now, generally, when you see bear bomb aquariums, they're either used because they're a hospital or quarantine tank, that way you can monitor your fish and see what type of uh, health they are. You can spot if they have ick or some type of disease, and they're really easy to clean. Now, they're also used as breeding tanks because certain fish you can just stick inside and you can monitor their breed breeding behavior, and using a few decorations such as like a clay pot for fish that like to lay their eggs on stuff. You can easily monitor your breeding fish and if you see eggs are easy to see, you don't have to go look on your leaves or decorations. And then also you can look at the, uh, you can find the fry really easy and it's easier to catch fry out of an open tank than it is to fight through a whole bunch of plants or decorations. Now. The pros to a bear bomb aquarium is they're easy to clean. So when debris and fish waste settle to the bottom of the aquarium, you can easily vacuum out that uh, debris by using just a simple um, hose from your wire change system, whether or not using buckets or a python system or using you know, a submersible pump to suck out the debris. It's really easy. Now, another thing is, is you can really notice the fish more in a bear bomb aquarium because you're not trying to find the fish hiding in a rock or behind set of decorations. Also, they're easy to clean because you don't have to worry about moving a lot of decorations around and you don't have to take the, the significant amount of time to gravel back or clean off the sand. Now. Really, that's about the biggest pro that a uh, bear bomb aquarium has is they're easy to maintain. You're, it's easier to see fish in them, and you can easily catch fish out of a bear bomb aquarium because there's nothing in it. However, having nothing in it is also the con to having a bear bomb aquarium. So, without having substrate, it's harder to have plants, which there is things that you can buy that have rooted plants to be able to be in a bear bomb aquarium but in general it's harder to have plants in a bear bomb aquarium without having the, pro the proper substrate to plant them in. Also not having substrate is anytime there's any mess inside of your aquarium it's really hard to uh, not notice it because it's right there laying on top of the glass and it's just an eyesore and if you're one of those people who are particular about keeping the bottom of their tank clean that will drive you nuts and you'll be maintenance in it all the time which is never a bad thing to maintenance your aquariums often and make sure there's no leftover food or fish waste on the bottom of the tank but you're going to be causing yourself more stress and taking more time working on the tank than enjoying it not having substrate also uh, means there's less surface area for bacteria to colonize. So you see the bacteria that does the nitrogen pro uh, cycle inside your aquarium only exists on the surfaces of your aquarium. Now if you have a 75 gallon aquarium that's bare bottom like the one next to me, it'll have far less uh, bacteria colony 
and because there's not as, as much surface area there as it would in another 75 gallon aquarium that has gravel substrate because then you got all the surface area of each individual pebble of that gravel and that can potentially have more bacteria on it than what a bare bottom aquarium has. So a bare bottom aquarium also is their looks. They don't quite look like a tank that I want to you don't want to have a show piece tank and it be bare bottom because really your fish are important especially but when you're trying to make a tank that looks good you can't be a well designed well scaped aquarium with beautiful fish with a tank that has just beautiful fish in it and not really any sort of uh, decorations Another con to a bare bottom aquarium is if you have aggressive fish. So if you have aggressive fish and they're constantly uh, fighting, fin nipping, chasing, a bare bottom aquarium is not that suited for that because there's no way for the fish to break line of sight. So if you have that one fish constantly chasing another, and as long as that fish is within its eyesight, it's continuously being harassed and stressed out, That'll cause issues later down the road with stress and illnesses and maybe they won't have as bright as collar as they would or their fins will get damaged. But having a tank that is fully decorated, like a planted tank or just a plant a tank with rocks and driftwood or just random decorations provides a sense of security for your fish that way they can break line of sight from the aggressor and Usually that'll help with the aggression within your tank. Now, in this tank, there is African cichlids. And these are the peacocks because usually peacocks don't need a lot of caves and tunnels to swim in. They, they prefer to be in the upper half of the aquarium. So having it full of stuff really wouldn't be at that ideal for those type of fish. And usually with African cichlids, you can get away with overstocking an aquarium or making sure your male to female ratio isn't too, uh, too extreme. Like you don't have one female with ten males because then that would cause issues. But then if you had two males and about seven females, which is what I have in here, the aggression really isn't that bad. So bare bottom aquariums are a great aquarium to have if you want to keep maintenance easy and you just want to enjoy your fish. But just know that having a bare bottom aquarium means you'll see the, the disgusting uh, fish waste and mold and uneaten food every single time you walk by the tank because it'll just rest there on the, on the bottom of the glass and you'll just constantly see it and you, there's no way of hiding that filth. Also know that your bacteria colony won't be as good as it could be with having substrate in an aquarium. That is partially why I am slowly changing every bare bomb aquarium that I have in my fish room to having at least a gravel base. They may not have any decorations within the tank but at least they have gravel. That way I hide some of the disgusting uh, fish waste and uneaten food and then it also gives the tank a more natural look instead of just having a glass box. So really that's the only downside to the Bare Bottom Aquarium is they're more maintenance heavy because well not really maintenance heavy they're more stressful because you have to constantly clean them or they'll look kind of filthy and unkept whereas it won't be as hard to maintenance an aquarium that is bare bottom as it would to have one that is full of plants and substrate and driftwood and you have to work around all that stuff. So both a bare bottom aquarium has a lot of good things about it and also a lot of kind of more annoying features. But in the end it's up to the fish keeper of who and what type of fish they want to keep, what kind of aquarium they want to have. So if you're into just looking at the fish and you don't care about decorations, a bare bottom aquarium is perfectly fine. But if you're one of those people who would prefer to have a nice aquascape aquarium with the same fish, 
then a bare bomb aquarium won't be as good for you. So that's all I think about bare bomb aquariums. That's what I think is the pros and cons. Hopefully if you guys are thinking about buying your first aquarium or setting up a new one and you're deciding on whether or not to have bare bomb aquarium or just go ahead and decorate it up, then hopefully this video kind of brings to light a little bit of information that way you can decide on that. Anyway guys, if you like this video, hit the like button and share it to your friends if anyone you know is thinking about buying an aquarium. Also, I have about 22 fish tanks that I keep care of, They're usually in this room, but I've had to move some out to different parts of the house due to a little bit of an issue I had with my floor, which will be covered in another video. But anyway guys, there's always something I can film, there's always something I can talk about, always something new to learn, where I'm always learning every day I come in here. As always guys, hit the subscribe button, and share this video and the channel to your friends. Anyways, as always guys, stay safe, keep keeping fish, and I'll see you next time.